there. Today we're going to talk about old candles and how to get the wax out of them. So how can you go from this to this, which is almost clean, to this, which is immaculately clean and can be used for storage or replaced with another candle. Items you're going to need is hot water, almost boiling like for tea, an old candle that you are done with, and later on you will need an old sponge that you will not use on any sort of um, dishes, so like a bathroom sponge or an old sponge. Step one, take your old dried out candle, boil some water for tea, and pour the water over the candle. And what you will see is that like a magic lava lamp, it's going to start bubbling the wax up and forming it on the top. And now it's just a matter of waiting. And this can take an hour to overnight, depending on your candle. And sometimes if you have a lot of wax, you might have to do this twice with the hot water. While this is still bubbling the wax, I'll show you what you end up with. Eventually, you will have a solid disc of wax form at the top. And when this cools, you can remove it. I did quite a few candles today and yesterday, so I have some already preformed discs. Now, um, you could throw this away or you could reuse it. I like to reuse it and melt these down and add some fresh wax and refill this with a new wick. But what you do with your clean jar is up to you. Once you get the majority of the wax out, you are left with the metal remnants of the wicks and sometimes that glue just lifts out with warm water sometimes it doesn't and then you also have various labels to get off so we're going to try soaking the glued in metal pieces in more hot water and then i'll come back in about 20 minutes and try to remove those. They don't always come out, and if they don't, you can just pour new wax around them and put the wicks in different spots. And then for the label, you want to submerge this in a pot or a bowl of soapy water overnight, and usually that label will come off. Sometimes you have to use a special remover to get them off, because the glue is so stuck on there. But usually an overnight soak in soapy water or vinegar will get that to release. And then once the labels and everything come off, you will remove the little bits of wax left with an old sponge and some soap. Once you are done getting the label and those um, metal wick pieces out, you will dry it and then it is ready to be reused. You can either put a votive candle in there or you can reset and melt wax into it. This one has a airtight lid, so you could also store cosmetics type things in there. Sometimes that perfume smell stays in this um, silicone seal and I've tried soaking and it doesn't always come out. Sometimes you can remove and replace that, or sometimes you can just be okay with perfuming whatever you're storing in your jar. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.